opens up the bar about nine. He wraps up the coins and packs them in an old typewriter case. Now the cash he carries in his inside pocket. He starts out for the bank about ten. When he leaves the bar, he starts up third. But I don't want none of you guys near that bar, and I don't want nobody on third, get it? Yeah, sure, Sam. I know you take it from there. He stays out in the open to 96th Street. And he cuts through the courtyard to get to 97th. That's where we set up the heist. And don't forget the cash in his pocket. And also, he carries a 22. Kid stuff. I have the car on 97 facing east. And if anything looks fishy on your end, sound off. Four short beeps. Now, I need a lookout on the 96th Street side where he goes in. Can't stick a mug out there. So, kid, I want to use one of your bunch. I can do that myself, Sam. Good. You know the whistling routine? That's the same as before. As soon as he goes in the courtyard, I start whistling and shaving a haircut. Okay. Now, if anything goes wrong on your end, start whistling for your dog. The drop will be here as usual. I'll be waiting for you. Merchants League. The neighborhood's getting a bad name lately. Yeah? Hold up, smuggings right out in broad daylight. Happen to know anything about it, Jimmy? Me? No, I've been on a straight line ever since you did it, Barnett. Whatever happened to the boys, Jimmy? I don't know. It just sort of folded up. Too bad. Sort of kept everybody out of trouble.
there's something upstairs. I came running down. I didn't down. hear anything. I just happened to be wearing pads. Wait, this wait, other guy wait. laying down there, is he dead? No. Oh, my God. Not in our valley. Jimmy. What? Oh, I stayed out here. I didn't want to see nothing. Now I don't have to be a witness. It's kind of hard on the cops, isn't it? Hey, look. I got tagged once on a phony rap, you know. I ain't going near that precinct house, not even as a witness. I told you, Barnett, I'm straight. But I'm going to stay that way. My way. All the way would be better, Jimmy. But I'd like to have you come up to my place and have a talk sometime. Same old place. Now, what kind of talk? No lectures, just a nice, friendly talk. Someday next week, okay? Yeah, I guess so. And you recognized him? Sure, it was that snooper that's working for the merchants, that Barnett. The kid was talking to him out there. Well, what about it, kid? Why didn't you give the warning? The cop didn't come from my side. He come from the other side. Barnett, come from your side. Why didn't you give the warning? Barnett was just passing by. He didn't know anything was going on. I thought... Well, ain't that nice and convenient. He just happens to pass by where we're pulling a deal. I couldn't help that. He just recognized me from the old boys' club. What a boys' club, eh? Now, ain't that real sweet? Real palsy-wowsy. An old friend of yours, huh? Well, look, don't get funny. I hate his guts. Uh, well, you do, huh? Well, that's good. That's real good. I got plans for you, kid. What are you thinking, oh, Sam? Oh, shut up. Kid, I'm gonna put you in the big time. What, are you worried? Maybe. You've had other guys Welsh on jobs, Sam, never me. You never killed a man before. We don't want any slip-ups, Jimmy. I'll say what I want and what I don't want. That's the big jump, kid. Barnett's getting nosy, so he goes for good. Yeah? Yeah. And you're it. It'll be a pleasure. OK. You got plenty of cover. We'll be there if anything goes wrong. Just don't worry. Well, hello, Jimmy. Well, you finally decided to stop by for that talk. Sit down. How's the neighborhood? Uh-uh. This ain't for no lecture, Barnett. Oh? In trouble? Not me. I like to stay out of trouble. So? You remember my sister? Uh, Janet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I remember her. Redhead, freckles, cute kid. Well, she don't look so good anymore, Barnett. How come? She married a bum. Can't hold a job? No, he's got a job. He's a subway guard. Only she don't see any of the loot, see? He gets finished working about five, ties one in in his saloon, goes home and beats her up. Too bad. They have domestic courts that handle lads like that, Jimmy. Yeah, but you gotta holler a cop to get the court. And she won't. She just takes it and keeps her mouth shut. Some of the boys you're running around with ought to be able to convince him to take it easy. We just touched that guy. She'd never leave him. He's got to be caught doing it by some witness whose word carries weight. So? They're living in one of these walk-ups that's been condemned for public housing. Well, she ain't got enough dough to move to a new place. And she ain't got any neighbors to squeal. I want to catch him beating her. Tonight. And? And I want you to go with me. 
I don't trust what I'll do if I go there alone. I uh, can't pay you no fee now. I don't particularly enjoy the picture of your sister having a black eye with those freckles. Aren't you uh, carrying a rod? Uh, that's for punks and hoodlums, Jimmy. Yeah, that's right. I never carry one myself. Must be taking her afternoon nap. What's his last name? What difference does it make? Go up the front way, he stops beating my sister. She won't say nothing, what do we accomplish? Maybe we'll give him a little message. No, nah, we gotta see him, then it's a real message. Don't matter if he gets on a witness stand or not, we got it. Trying to Please kick him out, he won't go. Won't or can't like your sister. Come on, Ozzy. Don't won't. keep the man waiting. He wants to hear all about me. Well, to begin with, Harriet was born Radio. in Point, Iowa. But Must be a family. battery set. They ain't got any electricity. sister had stepped out for a walk. Yeah. Kid, you've had it. What's the angle? Not dead. I know that one. What's the other angle? 
Drop that, Seamus. Whose idea was this? Bellet, Sam Bellet. Why? You were getting too nosy about the kid gangs in the neighborhood. He was using them? Answer me! Yeah. For what? Numbers, runners, lookouts for stick-ups. Where's this drop? Who's in with him? Behind that tailor shop on 30. Jimmy! Go ahead, Barnett. Drop him. He ain't rattin' again to nobody. Take you, and they've got all night. I don't want no trouble. You got it. Unless you do exactly as I say. Not a move, not a sound. It's our only chance.
sorry we messed up your room pop